be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing a simple plugin that you can throw on any melody to flip your melody, um, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. So I have this sample right here. Um, and I'm just gonna go over what you could do. You do have to have Logic Pro 10.8 if you wanna use this tip. But basically, I'm gonna play the sample first and then I'm gonna show you one plugin that you can put on uh, you know, any of your melodies to take it to the next level. All right, y'all. So that's the melody. And like I said, I'm going to be talking about one plugin you can throw on any melody to make it, you know, different, flip it, whatever. So, um, again, you do have to have Logic Pro 10.8. What you can do is go to your audio effects and then scroll down to your multi effects. You can use the beat breaker plugin. Okay. I've talked about this extensively in some more videos, but for those who are new, this is going to be a real dope plugin to uh, add some variation and some difference to your, um, your melody. So how it works is you have these different knobs up here or buttons. You can affect the time you can affect, uh, affect, um, it, uh, at different points in your melody if it repeats or not and you can affect the volume and then they have all these different presets you know that you could choose from and then you can come down here and choose from a bunch of uh, presets as well what I'm gonna do is uh, just do a little something here we'll just click on this guy if I take the curve down a little bit and even this down a little bit what it will do is it'll kind of create like a tape stop effect let's check it out So that's pretty cool. Uh, cool. Now, what, we, what, what, what will it sound like if we go ahead and do some repeats? Basically, you can just click anywhere and then like push up and it will create repeats. And then you can use the volume to like maybe clean up certain stuff. So I can come over here, put a curve on this, slope it. Same thing here. Now let's check it out. So anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's video. Make sure you go check out the Beat Breaker plugin. Also go around here and mess around with some of the pre presets. Another cool thing you can do is like a halftime effect. So I'm just going to start over here. If you just click on this button right here, instantly puts it in halftime. And then you can come over here to the mix and put, you know, put just a little bit of it in there. And then if you add this other plug plugin, like added it twice here, now you have the effects from that one plus the halftime. And then once you get everything the way you want it, you can right click on it, then bounce it in place. And what that's gonna do is change it to an audio file. And now uh, you don't have to worry about, say if 
something happens uh, with the plug-in and it messes up. So anyway, y'all, get subscribed to the channel, man, for more tips on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10. Also, visit my website, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses on there that have full curriculums, hours of content, exclusive content, drum kits, loop kits, templates. Make sure you check all that stuff out. Invest in yourself. Taking this uh, to the next level in 2024. Man, appreciate y'all. We're out.